Didn't you guys clean the glass down there? Do something? Huh? Trotsky all wide-eyed. Baby Tucker. Some hungry cats. Trotsky, you're really looking kind of portly here. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday to you from the Rancho. Just enjoying a great cup of coffee today. And it is trash day in the hood. Make darn sure you bring those cans in. People get all upset in this neighborhood. We got like... 16 parking spots on the street for about 6,000 people <laughs> around here. And then when you leave your trash cans out past like noon, it starts to get on the afternoon. People just start, <laughs> you can hear it in the afternoon. People just start whipping those cans up on the sidewalk or plowing into them and pushing them forward and taking their, taking their rightful parking spot for sure. Yes, you saw the knuckleheads this morning and it's like uh, Trotsky the Russian blue is uh, I don't know, looking a little Orson Welles <laughs> I don't know whether it's fur or what it is but every day kind of gets a little puffier looking and I I don't know if the cat's in a family way or not what am I a cat expert I don't know anything about, uh, anything about cats we had a fun time talking about uh, dogs last night. Yeah, I think like a golden retriever is a good choice for a uh, dog. I'm not really into small dogs too much or really big dogs, but uh, you know, you don't want you don't want the kind of dog somebody walks into your house like, oh, what the hell is it? <laughs> start to get that feel. Like you could be on the menu, right? If you don't, uh, if you don't straighten up and fly right. Listen, before I forget it, uh, people asked me this morning. One person, where, where you, what kind of peaches are you using? Because peaches are certainly not in season right now. On my brown sugar and steel cut oatmeal this morning, and as you guys know, that we're on the channel in July. We did some canning here, and I am going to be turning this channel into more of a homesteading type channel coming up in the uh, future when I've got the travel bug out of my system. And this came from the treats, peach tree this season and canned them up good. And it's just so nice to just have them on the shelf and just be able to pull it and enjoy it like I did this morning. And just having that nice ripe fruit flavor. Uh, on not a ton of it, but just that having that nice ripe fruit, fruit flavor tastes so delicious in the um, you know for breakfast. I've also had it for chicken at night, and it just it's great. So I'm encouraging all you guys. It has a bit of startup investment money in it, but like if you pick peaches up in July, August when there's tons of them, the cost of it really goes down. You buy a bushel and just process them, and you have literally you have peaches for a whole uh, season. So it makes it very, very, very economical. So, what do we got on the agenda? We know that Vegas is going to be next week. It's just a question of what's going to come before um, Las Vegas, and I haven't quite parsed that out yet, but. Um, as I told people last night, if you have suggestions or something like that that you'd like to see me do in Vegas or a story that doesn't require a crap load of money, I had very, one very kind subscriber mention the underground home out there. I have to kind of investigate that a little bit. What I really want to do is go hopping over the fence at Shenandoah, Wayne Newton's estate. <laughs> <laughs> have security and golf carts chasing me all over. <laughs> what are you doing now? Well, I like those. I like those places. I like to, uh, you know, kind of peek in the windows and see how, see how the rich and the rich and totally fabulous uh, live their lives. And that'd be a great video, right? Security chasing me all. 
<laughs> Who's to brought in there running around? I don't know. But we gotta get her. Wayne's coming in in a minute. Ooh, hi, Wayne. So, we will definitely have uh, fun down there. The advanced weather looks pretty good. I can deal with a little bit. It might be a little uh, windy and things like that. Uh, so, it's going to be fun. Uh, I had some questions about uh, drinking and um, cutting down and, and just drinking. I don't know. I just, I'm the kind of person, guys, I drink on Friday and Saturday now, my beer on the weekend because, well, I'm not an alcoholic. So, beer is not a critical, beer or alcohol is not a critical part of my life, although it is very enjoyable. And as far as picking it up and putting it down, I guess I just haven't had that addictive personality that uh, is very difficult to just not get more and more spun around the axle and drinking more and more and more and more. Uh, it's it's kind of like cigarettes. Pick, pick them up, put them down. It's just not been a really difficult thing. People are just made differently. I don't know. But I know that um, drinking every night is really not good for health because you need, I think, and what I've learned over time is you need some time for your liver to process and be out of the alcohol processing business at least like 48 hours out of the week or something like that. But when you find yourself just automatically grabbing for a beer uh, in the evening, yeah, it's nice. It goes down good, but you're just keeping that alcohol in your system day after day after day. And I believe that that's the point that it starts to take a toll on liver function and things like that. Um, and I definitely want to avoid that. And I don't, I don't care. You know, I mean, I don't care to drink that much. People were asking me for tips. How do I how do I quit smoking? You just put them down. To, you know, you look like you just put it down. Or how do you just stop drinking like that? Well, I don't I don't know. I mean, I'm just not that deep into it. But the people ask. I don't want to be a smart ass and just give an answer. Hey, put it down, and that's the way it goes, right? Just don't pick that stuff up. But um, to me, it's it's never been that big of a deal. And I never really touch the hard stuff maybe a couple times uh, a year. I mean, I love I love a good bourbon. So, Where are we going with this? We're trying not to go down the alcohol road. <laughs> that's, where, that's where we're going. Now, when I get to Vegas, well, then it's going to be a different story, right? I'll be, uh, I'll be tooting it up a little bit down there and having fun. Uh, I wish there was like haunted houses. I'm not sure if I want to go down. You know, I've been to the Oasis Motel. And it's such a freaky place. But they charge. You know, I was thinking about doing an overnighter there. You know, going in like Wednesday night and doing an overnighter or something like that. Before I get to the other, uh, you know, to the uh, prison industrial complex. Where <laughs> Some of you guys, oh, Rosie. The Oasis Motel where... Stu Unger died, and where, you know, tragedy happened, that could be a step up for you, where you're usually uh, staying, where there's blood stains on the wall. <laughs> looks like, looks like human tissue. <laughs> you gotta look very close at the lampshade. <laughs> you know, just the weirdos, man. It's human skin lampshades. <laughs> I haven't even been drinking today. Aren't I silly for a Wednesday morning? But we come here to laugh in the morning, and that's exactly what uh, we're going to do. And I wake up to this sad news. Oh, you know, Google's hitting tough times. Just fucking pay me. <laughs> Don't cut the little bit of coin I get. <laughs> <laughs> Put the news article out from Google's fired their you know, 37 massage therapist. <laughs> right? It's such tough physical labor to sit at that desk and push keys all day. You got guys working out at Union Pacific Railroad humping around railroad ties. I don't see Union Pacific 
Right, time for the massage therapy session, boys. I know you're humping these 125-pound uh, railroad ties and stuff like that, but uh, take an hour. <laughs> the farmers in Central Valley, right? The guys picking uh, <clears throat> picking grapes, and so take a break, boys. We got. <laughs> we are a soft. Society, when it comes to the upper echelons uh, here. Shoot, I've never had a massage in my life. I may get my nails done in Vegas. I haven't quite decided. I've been kind of sneakily growing them out a little bit, and they're actually uh, doing well. But my hands are so chewed up from so many years of uh, very, very hard physical labor. It wants to draw attention to these mitts. <laughs> Oh, but Rosie, you'll be lovely. Yes, I know. I'm always lovely. How do you like this little do? It's like the, uh, it's like the, right, it's like the Clara Bow look here. So, you know, I don't have a lot of sympathy. I mean, it just shows you these, these companies, the lengths they have to go, had to go to, to get people to work there. They're saying, oh, you know, we have, uh, beer on Fridays and we have, uh, open menu order whatever you want we have our own kitchen here like twitter twitter's been auctioning off everything even a little blue bird on that <laughs> uh, raise your hand if you thought they'd be doing this last year here i did right and we're just on the we're just on the early edge of uh of what the uh, future holds here but that's for another uh, that's another uh discussion so what do I need to do today? I want to keep moving forward. I noticed last night when I put the, when I changed the lights in Kitchen Stadium, when I took the plug out of the socket in Kitchen Stadium and I put it into the generator, I noticed that generator kind of struggled a little bit, which makes me think these lights I have out here are probably cost a lot of money to run because my PG and F bill, you can guess what the F is, Pacific Gas and F, uh, said my max time is between like 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. like that. Well, that's the time. I mean, I can't do anything more with the shine check because you know, I've got everything over to LED. Yeah, it's an electric water heater out there. There's not much I can do. Can't get a gas line out there and all that, but gas is expensive now anyway. Uh, so where am I going with this? Well, I'm going to try to go to the store today and change out those. When I put that on the generator, that load really took, slowed the generator down. I thought to myself, wow, this thing's really, these, these lights are really pulling a load. Maybe I got some internal resistance or something in there that's causing that. So what I'm going to do today, hopefully I'm going to go down and I'm going to get some LEDs. We're going to take these Edison lights and we're going to kind of retire them on here. That's the ones that are clear. I mean, they're nice. I like them. They're very outdoorsy. They're cafe looking. Um, but man, I've got to drive this bill down uh, here. And that's going to, that's really the last place that doesn't really have the LEDs. Everything else is all the spotlights. I don't care if they run all night around here. They're all, you know, 22 cents a month or something to run that stuff. So I'm going to, I'm going to change that at I also need, now that I have portable power, which is great, I have special blades for the Sawzall. I can get cotton on the back there. But I don't want to hump that, that's about a 60 pound generator. I don't want to hump that everywhere. But I do have a nice wheelbarrow here. But the problem is it has a blow up front tire on it, it has the inner tube in it. And as a result, it's always deflated all the time. So I'm going to go down to the store today. I uh, think I'm going to go down to uh, probably Lowe's. If they don't have it, I'll pop up to Friedman Brothers. Or maybe I'll start at Friedman Brothers, the local guys. Get the light bulbs and see if I can get a solid wheelbarrow wheel and change it out on this unit. So I don't ever have to worry about because uh, I got a big property and push pulling stuff and carrying stuff along can be a real real drag so I want to mount that up and then uh, tomorrow will be go day for doing all the uh, cutting and uh, 
getting things into the can for takeaway for uh, all the green refuse and getting stuff. I need to get this place in tip top shape. Then I go to Las Vegas and I have a big rosy smile. Speaking of, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe, hit the bell for all notifications. We've been doing up in this channel for over 10 years and uh, love, love doing this stuff on the daily and would love you all to be a part of it. So thumbs up or appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button, join our fun, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's see what the knuckleheads are doing.